Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Adapting the Outdoors. We are in Pleasant Hill, Illinois at the First Baptist Church of Pleasant Hill. I'm standing here with Mark Rose, FLW Tour uh, Bass Fisherman. Uh, Mark, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I also fish Major League Fishing. So. Okay. I'm sorry, I uh, forgot. Yeah, that's okay. I've uh, been recognized as a Major League or FLW Pro for all these years. I fished Major League or FLW for 20 years. And so now I just switched over to Major League Fishing last year. It's hard for me to even, you've heard me say FLW twice already. So, But yeah, that's what I do now. Fish the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour and absolutely love it. What was, okay, I kind of would like to get into tournament fishing at some point. What is the easiest way someone yeah. can get into yeah. tournament fishing? Um, the best way is to fish your local bass bass clubs. Um, if you're young, high school, college, fish your college stuff first. And then, uh, but anytime you get a chance to fish the FLW BFL trail, that is probably the best launching pad for you know for doing this for a living uh, or if you just want to do it if you just if you're comfortable working and fishing weekend stuff the BFL is probably the best thing that, that you could possibly do uh, and then you can grow from that on into the Costa series uh, some of these names are about to change because Major League Fishing just acquired uh, FLW so some of this stuff is going to be changing but uh, what we now know is the BFLs graduating into the Costas and then launching that into the FLW Tour. That is the process that I took, and uh, I think it's the best uh, way to get to a full-time tour and pro. If you don't have dreams and aspirations of doing that, that's great. Uh, if you make a good living, don't try. Um, it's a long, hard road to get there, but the Lord will bless you if it's His will. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I did, and I believe that's the best best path. Okay, um, I have sensitivity issues with my hands, so I have a hard time feeling the bite sometimes. What's a technique that you would recommend to someone for someone with sensitivity issues? Yeah, uh, probably doing more winding if if you're if you're comfortable fishing a moving bait. Simply because, uh, like a crankbait or a spinnerbait or a vibrating jig or a swimming jig, baits like that where the fish actually hook themselves. I mean, you're throwing it, you're whining it, and, and it the just fish stops. Act, well, yeah, they when they bite, they hook themselves. So you don't have to sit there and wait and say, "Is that a bite?" and then set the hook. You know, so um, fish more moving baits. Okay. Um, now, if you if you uh, if you want to slow down, that's fine. But you can you can wind like a swimming jig or something like that, pretty slow, and uh, the fish will hook themselves. You say you've been doing this for 20 years? 21. 21? Recently, yeah. What'd you do before that? I was an executive with the Boy Scouts of America. Oh, actually. no kidding. Yeah. Wow. I played baseball growing up and all through college, and then I graduated college in Arkansas State University and uh, started uh, working for the Boy Scouts of America. And one day a tournament came to the Mississippi River, an FLW Tour event. I got in, won $25,000, quit my job, and I've been doing this for 21 years. Final question, I won't keep you for any longer. Uh, someone like me that has a YouTube channel or that wants to get into to sport fishing, how do they, what is the easiest way for them to gain sponsors? Yeah. Um, it's all about impressions. It's all about how many people, what, like there's people watching us talking right now. It's how, it's how to grow that audience. And so anybody that's wanting to do this and, uh, or get sponsors, it, it's all about selling the product. You know, you, if you can sell, um, you don't necessarily have to win the Major League Fishing Tournament or fish the Major League Fishing Tour, but you have to put up numbers that can create the kind of visibility that somebody like I uh, do. And, you know, we're on the Discovery Channel, we're on the Sportsman's Channel. You know, so all of the major networks in the outdoors 
they watch us. So we were able to create a lot of impressions for people and therefore um, endemic and non-endemic companies will pay for doing that. Um, or you can take it to a more uh, targeted regional or locally level and you know just uh, try to do it in a more local than, than national. I think on terms of national impressions you might you can do a lot of work at a sports show or an event or something like that and create visibility that for a local company. So there's different ways of doing it whether you want national or local cover. All right well Mark thank you. You Guys, this has been Mark Rose, FLW Tour and Major League Fishing Tour uh, Pro. Uh, stay tuned. He's going to speak a little bit later. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week right here on Adapting the Outdoors. All right, guys. Uh, that's all we have for you on today's show. Uh, join me next week. And I am actually going to upload the entire video of Mark Rose talking. Uh, he did a sermon tonight at the church that we were at, and honestly, I just enjoyed myself. I absolutely had a great time tonight, and it was very neat talking to Mark. Mark is an extremely down-to-earth person. He's a man of God. He's very personable. I honestly, you wouldn't realize unless you knew who he was that you were talking to in my opinion, a celebrity. And Mark, if you see this video, it was awesome to meet you, and I truly appreciate the time that you got to spend with us all, and I truly appreciate everything that you've said tonight. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, because I'm going to try to put out a video at least once a week, maybe a little bit less than that. Uh... If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time, right here on Adapting the Outdoors.